Hello, and welcome again to another TechNection tutorial. I'm John Weber. Today, I'll be taking you through how to load images built with Yocto into the eMMC of our modules. To review, in a previous tutorial, we built an image from scratch using Yocto, and what we ended up with is a file in the temp deploy images machine, in this case, the Pico IMX 8M Mini or Pico IMX 8MM directory that we can program into the eMMC of our board. And this is what I'm calling a monolithic image file, which means it contains all of the data to be written to the eMMC, including the partition table, bootloaders, firmware, and partitions, including the boot file system and root file system. We built an image named core image minimal. And to do that, we ran a command called bitbake core image minimal. This is a console only image that can be built quickly as it contains relatively few packages and is great for initial development purposes. However, we wanted to show a bit more of a full featured image in the tutorial. So in the meantime, I've gone ahead and built an image named IMX image full. It has a simple Wayland desktop and some other programs. To do that, all I did was run the same command with a different target image recipe, bitbake IMX image full. That's it. When you're done, you'll have an image in the temp deploy images directory. Now we're going to write that image to the board with UUU, which is utility that uses USB OTG on the SOM to load eMMC. Let's go ahead and get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the board's boot mode so that we're booting from the uh, serial download mode. So we're going to change the boot jumper here, and this is for Pico IMX 8M Mini. Uh, keep in mind that for your board, this could be a little bit different depending on the unit that you're using and the baseboard that you're using. So you're just going to need to reference our developer uh, site for that information or the user manuals. Um, so right now we've moved the boot jumper there. We're going to go ahead and reset the board. So we're not going to see anything happen here on the display. But what we will see happen is we'll see a USB device become available to us. So I'm going to go ahead and just type LS USB here and see if we see it. Okay, we don't see anything yet. Uh, oh, actually we do right here. NXP semiconductors, uh, blank uh, device. Um, so to do this, um, all I'm going to do is go to the directory uh, that we have our images in. So that is in Yocto. It's in the TMP deploy images and then the machine that we're using which is Pico IMX 8MM. So I'm going to change this directory and we're going to flash the IMX image full image because it's a bit more full featured. So ls l IMX dash image dash full star Wow, it's a bunch of stuff. So I built this image a little while ago, but the one that we're going to be concerned with is this .sdcard.bz2 image. And that's just a symbolic link to um, essentially a, a date and time stamped image that was uh, generated before. To do this, we're going to type uu underscore flash. And just to remind ourselves, we're going to use the dash h here to bring up the help menu. So we see here that we need to provide two arguments, which is the dash B argument, which identifies the board and the dash I argument, which identifies the image. So we use UU underscore flash dash B Pico, because I'm using the IMX 8M mini dash I IMX dash image dash full dash Pico IMX 8MM dot SD card bz2 and uuu just to let you know understands how to decode uh, .bz2 files um, so you don't have to worry about decompressing those before you flash them so after this we just hit the enter key everything should go well i need to enter my password and we're working here okay now we're flashing so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll resume that uh, when we're done flashing. Okay, so now our programming process is done. We see that we have a success here, uh, success one, failure zero, which is always good to see. Um, so we should have our image programmed into our board now. The main thing we want to do is we want to change the boot 
source. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull this jumper off and we can either move it to there or we can just leave it off because we're booting from EMMC and by default our modules boot from EMMC uh, without anything connected to their boot configuration pins. So I'm just going to go ahead and reset the board now. And if we did everything correctly, we should see the four penguins. Ah, oh, we see the four penguins. Yay. And we have the display all lit up. So life is good. So now we see our desktop. That concludes this tutorial, which involved programming an image over the USB OTG using the UUU tool and image that we had built with Yocto. Before I go, I wanted to mention that this is just one of several ways you can program EMMC for our boards. We'll go over other ways of doing this in other tutorials, so stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional information. Thanks for your attention. I'm John Weber. See you next time.